Hey, it is Andy with The Fence Post, indie music and vinyl blog, and today I've got Sentimental Goblin by Ty Siegel from 2017. When I originally wrote my long-form blog post about Ty Siegel's Sentimental Goblin back in 2017, I had just covered the then new album by Woods. Love is Love, noting that their last three albums at the time had graced my best of lists for those years. I also noted that Ty Siegel beat that, joining the top five four years running. And while my flavor for Ty may have subsided slightly, I still find him entering the year-end list somewhere. Case in point, both Harmonizer and Hello High entered somewhere in the top 20 for 2022 and 2021. I'm not here to talk about those, though. I'm here to talk about this. The single is from Suicide Squeeze, and it, like much of what I mentioned about Hello High, embodies the early folk-tinged glam-ish days of Mark Bolin and T-Rex, back when they were known as Tyrannosaurus Rex. The highlight off of this EP, which I do in air quotes because it just has two songs, is the B-side, Black Magic, a song on the lighter and softer side of Siegel's musical spectrum. More akin to 2013's Sleeper than the intense garage rock for which he is known, despite the name drop of Mark Bolin previously, the song is blatantly and undeniably Siegel. Black magic is a bit of a downer emotionally, yet there's something a bit wholesome about the song that makes it among Ty Siegel's more raw and unequivocally powerful tracks. I liken it to, say, The West off of Sleeper, which is a soft song, yet with intensity that leaves behind much of the metaphor and wordplay you typically find in lyricism and songwriting. The West appeared to be a direct and blatant song about the loss of Siegel's father and the estrangement from his mother at the time. But for some reason, Black Magic seems almost even more tragic, even more revealing, and even more heartbreaking. Maybe it's the melancholy chord progression, maybe it's the meandering warble in both guitar and vocals, maybe it's the masked meaning hidden in metaphor, I, I don't know, maybe it's something else entirely. In it, Siegel's draw just kind of says black magic will save us all. There's a hopelessness to it that is like succumbing to whatever darkness may bring him out of the funk. I've been talking a lot about the B-side, but the A-side is also pretty damn decent. It's a song called Pan, and it's a bit heavier with this slow but driving guitar riff and Siegel's standard harmonic vocal chorus backed with his gritty vocal verses. Now, there have been five versions of this single, one of which was a test pressing, so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate that right off the list. The other four include one, half blue, half yellow. Two, red, which is this copy, and I'll show you that in a second. Three, half pink, half purple, and four, green. All but the green one were released in 2017, with the green being a reissue from 2021. Additionally, all four colored vinyl versions were limited to just 1,000 copies each. Let's take a quick look at mine. You've got the cover, and this is the same cover as all of the seven inches for Sentimental Goblin. The back sleeve, which I assume is the same on all, but I have not done a verification on that. Here it's cast in red, much like the vinyl, which, as you know, I love. It doesn't really come with anything on the inside, uh, except for a download code. The vinyl itself, like I said, my copy is on a nice, vibrant red. Now, I love Ty Siegel's music, and not just that, he is one of the more prolific artists around today. Amidst it all, Black Magic is one of my favorite Siegel songs at that. Down in the description, I will have a link to where you can find 
any of these copies on Discogs, as well as you can find other stuff by Ty Siegel. I'll also link over to my review of his 2022 album, Hello Hi. Don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.